I found that when I built my first Honda Civic and I drove it across the country and sleeping in it and living out of it and driving in it, I felt like I saw the world differently. When I went inside that thing and drove it around, I kind of emerged as a different person. That's the goal, is to make things feel completely transformed. I'm a messy worker. I make a big mess and I clean up at the end of the day, or try to at least. Sometimes I don't. But. This would have been one sheet of plywood, easy, and I wouldn't have to fill, I'd only have to fill around the edges. I wouldn't have to fill the middle at all. So, and it probably would be a little stronger was plywood so you don't have to use I just like this wood so I'm willing to do the extra work because I like the look of it buying things is easy I decided a while back that if I'm gonna buy something it's something that I really truly want to live with and I want to look at every day you know the things that I really love in life are the things that I've made you know those are the things that I want to keep around and that I can't get rid of like the Ikea sofa like I could buy it tomorrow and the next day be like, I don't really care about this. I don't buy IKEA sofas, by the way. I build all my own sofas and all my own furniture. I, I want to make everything myself. I want to make every single thing in my life myself, or at least as much as I possibly can. Like th this camper, honestly, it doesn't attract a ton of attention, but some of my other campers have, and it's pretty incredible. Like people come up to you and they want to talk to you and they ask you about it, and it's like connects you to a community of other people who, who appreciate hand-built things. They want to know about it and they want to talk to you and they want to meet you. And So for my projects, I think about them a lot like the building part of it is the adventure. Like in some ways, the building is more exciting and more dramatic than any place I would ever go in the car. There's kind of moments where you're unsure of yourself and you think you're going to fail. And generally, like, I find that those moments are actually really important because that usually means that you're kind of in uncharted territory. If you are always really, you know, sure of yourself, you probably wouldn't be doing anything new and you probably wouldn't be challenging yourself. And that's very similar to, I imagine, someone who's a rock climber or someone who's, you know, like a backcountry skier, who knows, or someone who's a big wave surfer. There's always like these, I'm sure, these moments of like, I don't know if I can do this, I'm scared, what if I die? It's similar to when you're building a, you know, when you've invested a lot of time into a camper. There's always a moment in every project where you step back and look at it, and you think like, holy shit, I made that, I did this, and it's, an inc it's incredibly gratifying. I've made so many of them because I make one, and I use it, and it's enjoyable, and then I want to make another one because I want that thrill again of making something. To me, really, that's what doing it yourself is all about. It's all about the, you know, like challenging yourself and overcoming something.